Get talking Mandarin Chinese conversation one. Getting to know people. In this conversation, you'll learn how to greet people, say who you are, ask someone to confirm his or her name and or identity. Part one. Here are the key words and phrases you'll hear in the conversation. Listen to the English meaning, then listen to the Chinese words and phrases and repeat what you hear. You in the polite form, it's in the second tone. Nin. Hello in the polite form, literally you good. Nin hao. You as a casual form, it's in the third tone. Ni. Hello as a casual form. Ni hao. You might have noticed that in this expression, the word ni changes from a third tone into a second tone here. Listen to it in the third tone again. Ni. And then in the whole phrase. Ni hao. Did you hear the difference? That's because when two third tones occur together, the first one changes into a second tone. Otherwise, it's a little difficult to say. Okay, next expression. To be, it's fourth tone. Shi. Mister, it's the first tone followed by a light or neutral tone. Xian zheng. Mister Brown, but in Chinese you say Brown Mister. Bu lang xian zheng. Bu lang is the Chinese approximation of the name Brown. The syllables here are fourth tone and third tone. Now for the little word in Chinese which makes a sentence into a question when you put it at the end. It's a light or neutral tone. Ma. Are you Mr. Brown? Nin shi bu lang xian sheng ma? I or me, third tone. Wo. To be called or to call, fourth tone. Jiao. My name is Wang Li Li. Please note, the surname comes first in Chinese. This would be Li Li Wang in English. Wang Li Li. Welcome, a first tone followed by a second tone. Huan Ying. To come, second tone. Lai. Beijing, third, first. Beijing. Welcome to Beijing. Huan Ying, Nin Lai Beijing. Welcome to Beijing, Mr. Brown. Bu Lang Xian Sheng. Huan Ying, Nin Lai Beijing. Thank you. Fourth tone followed by a light or neutral tone. Xie Xie. How did it go? What did you feel about the pronunciation and tones? One thing to remember is that Chinese verbs are not conjugated in the same way as they are in many other languages. This means that the verb you met for to be, shi, is also used with I, wo, you formal, nin, or you informal, ni, and all the other personal pronouns, singular or plural. The word shi also means am, are, and is. The word doesn't change like it does in English. Also, please notice that there are polite and casual forms of a few words like hello. Here's polite. 您好. And casual. 你好. Got it? As it's your first time, it's probably a good idea to practice it all again. When you're ready, you can move on to part two of the conversation.